feel like my heart is racing. I feel like something's gonna happen. Like this is scary. Lava? I used to burn with lava. This is scary as hell to me. Aloha. Aloha there. Welcome, this is Jen, and welcome to my channel. It's part two of Hawaii. We are in Hawaii, um, Kona, Ke Kailua? Kailua? We really can't pronounce any of the names. I know that they only have 12 letters that they use in the entire alphabet for Hawaiian language. It's, I don't even have the ear, like I haven't heard it spoken enough to try to pick up on the accent or like the dialect. So I'm gonna try my best to pronounce names but please just gently correct me like send me an audio message or something and tell me how to say it. I love learning languages and I love culture so I definitely will be open to trying to pronounce things correctly but I'm gonna probably um just write it out or type it out of what it really is for the places that we're visiting right now we're getting ready to go um to a volcano so and breakfast or whatever today's outfit brought to you by not packing enough clothes for the occasion. We'll see if this is appropriate for a volcano visit. breakfast breakfast burritos they cost $13 and I feel like each and I feel like I could have made that I wish we could cook here eating out is, is expensive in um, Hawaii and it was the same in Honolulu and it's the same here it's kind of pricey if you can get a kitchenette or some type of um, kitchen to cook so, like at least one meal like breakfast or something easy the place that we just went to right now um, was like $30 for two little breakfast burritos that you know I could make that I can make this little container a little container I could literally make no. <laughs> I can literally make that at home I make delicious breakfast burritos so I'm a, I'm a little disappointed with that but at least I'm not hungry so I'm grateful for not being hey, hungry. Why? we're off to the volcano now yay are you excited mm -hmm. Volcano time, here we come. I was in the car about to fall asleep at the wheel, so I decided to stop on the road. <laughs> so I decided to stop on the side of the road to observe the beautiful scenery. <laughs> Haters don't get blessed. Haters don't get blessed. All right, we're gonna put Brianna back on and we'll see you at the volcano. Oh. Which oh. way? Oh, oh, yeah, so we gotta so pay that $20. Nah, no, they probably ain't even out. And maybe $20. Well, somebody else is in there. It's a private vehicle. It's $30. Individual, $15. You gotta pay $30 to come up in here. Um, this little area, Crater Rim Drive. Let's go get some information to see where we have to actually go. Just don't expect it to be really, you know, multi-floy red hot lava everywhere. It's just going to be kind of a black crusted over and lava lake. There could be occasional breakouts here and there, but it's hard to see during the daytime. Maybe nighttime is better. So this one is a good spot if you have limited mobility, you don't have much time, and if you don't want to 
like if you don't want to battle the crowds as much, it's usually nice and quiet over over there. You can kind of spread out along the trail. The trail connects to each parking yeah. lot on this side, so you can kind of walk around if you want. determined to make friends anywhere she goes. <laughs> I'm gonna go look at this rock. We are at the volcano park. <laughs> There's a lot of information. I'm just loving how like in the culture it's like important <laughs> to, to I almost tripped to honor nature <laughs> and to honor you know the people that were here and everything is connected and that's what I believe um in regards to humans and nature like we're all connected so it's really pronounced here and i love that it makes me feel like i'm right so i just wanted to come over here and look at something i read um in the visitor center about the pele goddess or deity and um just honoring them you feel that breeze breeze i feel something happening <laughs> last year they said that there wasn't any type of activity um, happening so nobody could see any kind of lava but this time it is something happening um, but you can see it the best at night but this park is actually open 24 hours so you can come in in the middle of the night and other times and like look at the lava active or kind of flowing or steaming up I do want to see see the steam vents so I'm going to try to do that but I also just want to just maybe see a lava like a volcano like I don't know we can drive drive up to places you can drive there's some hiking in the areas parking gets filled up fast so you got to plan for that or come at another time a lot of people like to come at um, sunset time or around dusk is what she said um, and that's when it gets the busiest so we're here around like one o'clock 1 30 <laughs> so it's really not we got a parking spot like right in front of the visitor center but we'll probably drive to the first hike You know, the steam vents from the volcano. Watch out for this. That's what I seen. I guess I didn't do it right. I'm driving. <laughs> don't no, you look just at me. go. No, just watch the business. Yeah, I know. Why don't you go to business, girl? I'm getting curved. I know. I'm getting curved. I know I'm hitting the curve. Here we are at the steaming vents. Oh, there you go. Here we are at the steaming, the steaming vents that I just spoke about <laughs> that I wanted to see. It was actually super easy to get to. Oh, she's throwing money. She's throwing money. Oh, it's hot. It's <laughs> and then there's another natural one. They have the little bar so you can kind of just look without jumping in. But people are throwing money in these. And I don't. To the goddess Pele. Or Pele. I don't know why people are throwing hats down there though. The corrosion on the coins that have been here for a while and just kind of like melt into the earth from all the steam that just goes on. It's very interesting. Very interesting. Are we standing on top of lava right now? Nobody's concerned. I guess it's because of all the coins and those holes up front that's keeping the, the volcanic lava at bay right now. I think that's, I think we should make a country too. I'll make sure I go get some um, money in or something of value. Throw it down there. I may have a couple coins. We're gonna go look at one more. I'm gonna go back to my mom. I'm gonna keep driving. Okay. Careful a little bit. Oh, shit. I don't know if people have thrown coins. 
coins on this one. But it's a bit concerning. <laughs> you can see the volcanic activity <laughs> in the back. Let's go. That's kind of scary. I'm like, ominous and stuff. I to see some crater juice from 1974. <laughs> like, she's like, is this crater juice? It is crater juice, look. No, this is 1974, it just said on that sign. I'm gonna show you, watch. It just said it on the sign, that's so. 1974. It's like, do you really have to go hike to go see more? This is really intimidating. I don't know, this volcanic, this energy, it, it's not, I don't know, people are, are just out here and I'm just like, are you guys really at peace with being this close to such a volatile element of our planet? That's unforgiving, she doesn't care. This is the Luamanu Crater. There's things growing though, which is really beautiful and awesome. Like that lone flower over there. But um, this is an intimidating element. This is, mm, hmm. I feel like my heart is racing. I feel like something's gonna happen. Like anxiety, I guess. <laughs> the symptoms of anxiety. <clears throat> Very anxious. Um, looking at lava formation. and it's making me 
this here. I'm just talking about it. I don't know what it is, but it's like in real life. Like this is real, real stuff. Yeah, my spirit is overwhelmed because I'm just kind of like this is unbelievable. I was just thinking that it's just you know all this lava. And it's just this dark um, crust oil, and I wasn't really like oh I've seen enough. And then we start driving into it, and I'm like oh my god. If you come to Kona, Kona, you definitely should go to the volcano area and explore at your own pace and your own way. Connect in your own way. Just because I got overwhelmed, you may not be overwhelmed. It may not be too much for you. It's not even too much for me. It's just it was very overwhelming. Even looking at the huge waves in this ocean right here, looking at it moving and you know existing. a cat um a house cat that got left that left out the house for the first time and everything is just like a lot i feel like that's that shut up <laughs> she's a house cat <laughs> she's a little house cat and she's scared to be outside we're outside <laughs> come on mom <laughs> Taking a picture of it's me. It's a video. Oh, you're getting on my nerves with them. <laughs> Take a picture, then.